Hello, I'm Natalie Glasson from the Sacred School of Omna. This week's channeled message is from the Unicorn Consciousness. It's entitled The Era of Remembrance, channeled through myself, Natalie Glasson, on the 11th of May 2018. Greetings. We are the Unicorn Consciousness. We bring our love and blessings to you and bathe you in the purity of our light. Our vibration is similar to that of the angelic kingdom. It is our purpose to serve and to support a deeper connection and remembrance of the Creator. Like the angelic kingdom, We are powerful healers, share wisdom, inspiration and sacred knowledge, as well as aligning you with the purity of your being and essence. Our mission at this time is to support the manifestation of the era of remembrance upon the earth and within the ascension processes of light workers. Since 2012, humanity has been existing within the era of love. Every activation, ascension shift, healing, awakening and enlightenment experience has been focused upon love. The era of love is an energy wave and level of growth which has an intention and purpose as it grounds into the earth and humanity. The purpose of the era of love is to aid self-love, connection to an embodiment of unconditional love. Perceptions born from love, an expression of pure love. You may recognize that many challenges, growth processes, awakening and healings may have been connected to the purpose of the era of love. Some souls upon the earth are already embodying the purpose of the era of love. For them their focus now is to experience life as love and with love. Others are focused upon embodying the purpose of the era of love, perfecting their ability to love themselves and to be the love of the Creator upon the earth. The level of your spiritual growth and whether you have embodied the era of love or not does not depend on how wise or evolved your soul is. Instead, it is the more risks you have taken in your past and past lifetimes to expand into being love and sharing love that means it can be more challenging to embody love. When you take risks to evolve, expand and share love further than your comfort zone, you can experience the supreme love of the Creator or pain through rejection or fear. So it can be that those who find it challenging to embody love and be love are the ones who travel the spiritual pathway the furthest and have achieved the most. An interesting thought is that those who are advanced in their ascension now and leading others forth in the light may not be the advanced souls. Instead, they could be the souls who have journeyed less on the earth and have less to heal. The souls who have yet to advance spiritually or even awaken may be the advanced souls as they have taken more on to work through and evolve spiritually, therefore need more time. We are not saying that this is the same for all. However, it is wonderful to shift a perception as this allows you to let go of the ego, expand your awareness and allow the truth of the Creator to flow into your being 
with greater strength and power. The Era of Remembrance There is no defined line between experiencing the era of love and the era of remembrance. They are waves of light and consciousness that overlap. The more love you embody and realize within your being, the more you activate and light up your memory of the truth of the Creator. Embodiment of love supports your remembrance. So even if you awaken love within your being in a small way, you will be igniting remembrance of yourself and the Creator to the same proportion. The purpose of the era of remembrance is to activate your inner knowledge, awaken wisdom you have collected from other lifetimes and reconnect you with the wisdom of your soul and soul group. It will serve you in remembering other lifetimes and bringing forth healing as well as rediscovering soul connections and relationships. Remembrance is connected to seeing, sensing and experiencing yourself and the earth without illusion or limitations. This is a gradual process that can be experienced as insights or glimpses of enlightenment. Often souls feel lost or uncertain in their reality upon the earth. They feel they do not know why they are present, what they should do, how they should be helping others, or even what creates fulfillment in their lives. There are often many questions which go unanswered and seem to leave a void which hinders self-acceptance and self-understanding. It is the purpose of the era of remembrance to reconnect you with your inner wisdom, intuition and communication with the Creator in order to fill the void and answer the questions which seem impossible to answer. This experience is likened to regaining your inner power, while others see it as advancing spiritually and evolving your senses. However it manifests within your reality, the presence and influence of the era of remembrance Awakening within you will be a gradual and even subtle process that could even be unnoticed by some, as instead they see themselves advancing in intellect. Spiritual growth and ascension is a process of unfolding and expanding who you really are the truth of the Creator. It is a process that occurs within your being, with multiple shifts and transformations occurring at multiple times. Often these shifts and transformations go unnoticed, especially if your focus is outside of you, in your reality. Even through the experience of numerous shifts, you may still feel the same. When an ascension shift occurs, it may take days or even weeks to integrate fully into your being. This means you are likely to not even notice. When you look back at your experiences over a year ago, it is then that you may realize the progression that has been made. It is because of the subtle nature of transformation that many adopt the perspective that they are not growing spiritually or advancing even though they practice meditation and so forth. They cannot see what is so close to them. They cannot recognize the transformations because they are not as explosive 
or impactful as they believe they should be. With the embodiment of the era of remembrance, so comes an awareness of the shifts taking place within your being and a greater understanding of the ascension process you are moving through. Love already ignites contentment and acceptance. However, the era of remembrance develops this further, encouraging a deep-seated feeling of being supported by the Creator and the universe of the Creator. Remembrance in truth is a realization of self as the Creator in embodiment on the earth and the inner planes. Meditation practice to prepare for acceptance and embodiment of the era of remembrance. It is with observation of and connection with self that the acceptance and embodiment of the influence of the era of remembrance can be recognized and experienced fully. First, Shake or move parts of your body, moving from your feet to your head. Being aware of the sensation and feeling of your body. Place your index and middle fingers of any hand on your brow. Add your third eye. Breathe in deeply as if you are breathing in through your brow. And exhale deeply through your brow. Feel your brow expand. Move your fingers to your heart chakra and practice the same. Breathing in and out through your heart chakra. Feel your heart chakra expand. Focus on breathing deeply. Draw energy up through your feet as you inhale into your heart chakra. As you exhale, draw the energy from your heart chakra into your crown. Repeat this until you feel centered. Take a moment to observe your body and being. Imagine, sense or acknowledge you are scanning your body from below your feet to above your head, simply being observant and accepting each area of your being. Take the attention of your mind and third eye to your heart chakra. And allow yourself to rest within your heart chakra, breathing naturally. When you are ready, ask yourself, what is essential for me to observe, realize and be aware of now? You are asking your heart chakra and soul to make you aware of any shifts, remembrance, healing that is required or anything else that is taking place or has taken place within your being. Simply observe without expectation and accept anything that comes to your awareness, even if it is subtle or a fleeting insight. This practice will allow you to awaken your awareness and observation of yourself. Thus allowing you to access and realize the presence and influence of the era of remembrance within you. You may also wish to use this invocation to serve your connection to the era of remembrance. Unicorn Kingdom Please align my entire being to the era of remembrance, 
Let me receive the energy waves, divine influence and inspiration of the era of remembrance within my being. Fill my being with the love of the Creator. Encourage me to recognize the abundant presence of love within me, therefore embodying the era of remembrance. And so I am aligned. In loving joy, encouragement and expansion, the unicorn consciousness.